It's been a long road to get here. We're outside the gates of Blister Hill right now. We're about to go and siege it. Little preface, I've attacked this place like three or four times, just wiping out most of the people in the city. I'm pretty sure this game literally just spawns new guards if you kill guards. So I don't think I did much. There should be a bunch of like crippled high paladins and stuff in the inner gate back here. But other than that, they are probably whole whole health. I haven't fought the phoenix yet. I've looked at his stats. They're pretty insane. So our raiding party is going to be all seven of the deadly sins. The Camelot gang that I made last episode because I'm probably going to need them. And then I have two groups of Shek warriors that I called on. So we've got 200 guardians which are on par with like the best of Camelot and better than most of the rest of the Camelot but they're not quite as good as the sins because some of their stats are a little bit weaker but they're they're pretty much on par with like the sins and then just a bunch of other sheks that are wielding planks and have good leg armor but of course they have like martial artist bindings on so they're not really that good anyways we're just gonna head straight in the front door i guess right now they are fighting a bunch of river raptors and an inquisitor group is leaving right now so i'm just gonna let them leave and then we'll just head right in. Okay, well they're probably far enough away. So we're just gonna start heading in. I've attacked the front door before and it really wasn't that bad at all. And I didn't even have this many checks with me. So we're just gonna do this again. I mean, I don't know why these guards come out here and fight us. Let the checks all heal up, I guess. None of my guys even got hurt. Okay, let's go in. Okay, well no one's on the harpoons, so that's good. But since I did already siege the city, these streets were like full of bodies already. But I guess a lot of the guards just haven't come back yet. I mean, this guy is still crippled. Like his arm is negative 41. His left leg has just got chopped off. So, like there's a lot of people that are still low health from the last time I attacked. Like there's, there's a lot of guys out here. Like they just get replenished if you don't take out the phoenix immediately so we're all staying pretty grouped up i guess there's guards coming from over here somewhere some of our higher level guys are definitely putting out a lot of green damage and stuff okay so some of the shacks have gotten to the gate over here is there anyone on the turrets? No. There are guys on these turrets. Okay, well everyone's fighting in the middle of actual the actual town. Oh, I guess Agnew and Wrath are over here. Let's have them take out the guys on the roof. Or I guess... Wait, are they even there anymore? Yeah, they are. Okay. Let's have Pride take out the harpoon guys because... Kind of the biggest weapon that I'm afraid of is the harpoons. That and you know the Holy Phoenix and I guess the uh, Bearer of the Light or whatever. Like the Protector of the Flame, that guy's stats are insane too. What's going on out here? Squint and Foo, I don't know what you guys are doing. Actually you two go on and just be medics I guess. Looks like everyone's ganging up on one paladin and now we're not even fighting it. Yep, everyone's here. Make sure the robots are all repaired, and then we're gonna bust into the capitol building, I guess? I have no idea what you call the uh, phoenix place. Oh, the throne. Okay, wow, this entire building's called throne. Okay, so the shacks are fighting out there. Oh, there's still some with me. Okay, let's get pride to go in there. We should probably bring everyone out. Everyone, come back outside. Okay, who do we have here? High Paladin, who I guess I took his weapon at some time because he doesn't have one. High Paladin, High Paladin, High Paladin. Protector of the Flame. So this guy's stats are in the 80s and 90s, and he has 88 toughness. Okay, this guy is just a brick shit house. So probably watch out for him. High Paladin, High Paladin, High Paladin, High Paladin, and High Paladin. Is the Phoenix still in here? Yeah, he's still in there, and his still another high paladin okay i can't really see in there unless i'm looking at the door that guy too and these two guys are going for harpoons on the roof 
which isn't ideal. That's enough pullback, leave them to the outlands. Okay, Agnew, actually you go to the roof, take out the harpoon guys. Got a lot of green. Agnew's taking out harpoon guy who is missing an arm. Oh, okay, pride came up to the roof. Okay, well they're off the harpoons, which is good. Okay, Agnew, take out this other harpoon guy. Phoenix, protector of the flame, has gotten hit all of one time. All the sins are doing okay, except for Wrath, who is going to be rebooting soon. Bust. Go repair Wrath, considering his head got completely destroyed somehow. Okay, what's going on down here? Protector of the Flame. His stomach's getting low, that's about it. Holy Lord Phoenix. His leg has been destroyed and his head's taken a little bit of damage, but he's also not wearing a helmet, so that's probably why. He's also chopping down all of the shacks. Okay, Agnew. Repair Wrath also, just to get him up even faster. Okay, his head's in the positives. That's good. Arm is getting healed now. How's everyone doing? Camelot. I forget how many people are here, but this doesn't look right with Rain the Giant being like that. I think some people died. I'm not sure who though, I don't really keep track of them that well. All the sins are here. Sloth is in very bad condition. Well, not very bad, but he's definitely seen better days. Oh, Gluttony just went out with a negative 40 on his stomach. I think I just missed Lust take out the Holy Lord Phoenix. <laughs> okay. So, loot him. He has a Maytow Paladin's Cross, Advanced Kit, Masterwork Holy Chest Piece, Masterwork Chain Shirt, Masterwork Plated Long Boots. Uh, kidnap him. So, basically our mission is done. Where's the... Protector of the flame. Probably this guy, right? Yeah, okay. Pride. Pride's not even that hurt. Damn. Oh, Pedro died. That's not great. Uh okay, Pride, go pick <laughs> go kidnap Protector of the Flame before he gets back up, because that guy is a force to be reckoned with also. Might as well take his stuff. It's only high grade stuff. But still, and then Pride, Medic people. Actually everyone medic, you guys medic also. The Shacks are still around. They can protect us while we're all healing, but... The Sins didn't lose anyone. Wrath is still yet to reboot. Gluttony is past his KO points. No, he isn't actually. He's up already. Okay. So no one's going into a recovery coma. That's a sin. We're basically just killing stragglers at this point. The two main people, the Phoenix and the Protector of the Flame, are dead. Or not dead, but kidnapped, so they're out of the picture. Okay, so while we're just killing stragglers, I'm gonna go ahead and just list these three buildings right here for all of their stuff, considering the two hive guys are out, and we're kinda just waiting for people to wake up while random stragglers of the Holy Nation keep showing up. So we've thoroughly looted everything. There wasn't really anything super great to pick up. The Holy Phoenix has the one weapon that is actually worth picking up, which is the Maytow Paladin's Cross, which I guess is kind of cool, because we got everyone picked up, and we're just about to head out. The only loot other than the Paladin's Cross though is the Glorious Holy Map, which is a map of all the farms and everything, but I already know all the locations, so I can't even read it. And Secret Holy Nation Documents, which if you read the description, it's Narco's Trap, which is kind of an easy place to find. It's Basically, in the Iron Valleys, it's kind of the first lab I always go to to get engineering research and stuff. So, I mean, it's like it's a large Holy Nation base. I guess we could go kick that over later, but like it's not even really that worth like going to, I don't think. Maybe it is, I've never attacked it before, but like it's a map to a place that's pretty well known. We're just gonna walk on out of here. Head on over to Admag, go see the stone golem for the last time.
after the flame. I didn't really mean to take him with us, but he's here now, so that's what it's gonna be like. Let's, let's carry him up. Not carry him up. I think we're taking him to to Bon, whatever his name is. Where is he? Seto. Where's Bon? Oh, buy in. Yeah, whatever. That the Phoenix Mutt, the one and only. Hand him over to buy in. Mm hmm. It really is. I should have expected no less from the famous Battleborn. Honored Legendary Lust. Nice, nice, nice. Where's. Sir, you're training on the middle of the stairs. Okay, the Stone Golem. The weak Akronites are lost without their precious Phoenix. Amusing. Such panic and squabbling amongst themselves has ended up destroying their own capital before we could take it. Good, I do not care for slaughtering feeble flat skinned civilians, as we have our own prizes to keep. The grass plains are ours, and the holy nation is finally dead. You never fail to live up to your reputation, Battleborn. You and I have earned our place on the other side, and we're restored Krell's glory once again. All shall fear the name of the Shek. Nice. I mean, I don't know how I feel about the Shek owning, like, half the world now. Maybe the United Colonies should have gotten it, because, like, they're humans, and, I mean, I don't know, they own a lot of slaves, too, though. Then again, Shek culture is basically just, like, kill stuff till you die, and when you die, that's honor. Okay, well, that's the end of the story, I guess. Not really anything much else to do. Could take out the world bosses that I haven't taken out yet. But that's it, we complete our mission. The holy nation is no more. The two hands of the phoenix are full in cages. The phoenix is in a cage, the seven deadly sins won, and we didn't lose any of them trying to do it either.